Game design often comes down to stealing things. Ideas, inspirations, they're often taken from something else. Funny enough, this game, which steals from everything from Metal Gear Solid to Hollywood heist movies, is about stealing things. Irony is pretty cool. So is Monaco. Just released to Xbox Live, this is a game you might have heard a lot about. It certainly had its fair share of hype, and rightfully so. It has style, complexity, of course it's also a gigantic pain in the ass. Obviously that's a selling point for some. The fact that this is a tremendously challenging game, sometimes to the point of frustration. But if you're like me, it relegates this potentially great game to kind of great, and for a certain audience. So Monaco tells the story of Monaco, a place where there's lots of stuff to steal and lots of people to do it. In fact, you're in control of them, and each one brings a unique set of abilities to the heist. The locksmith is the fastest with a lockpick. The cleaner can knock out unsuspecting guards. And the pickpocket has a monkey, which can collect nearby loot for him. And how heist movie is that, by the way? The pickpocket and his monkey. There are more characters too, and to be successful in Monaco, you have to learn their abilities and know which thieves are best suited for which mission. Though one level might be easy for the hacker, you might need the cleaner for others, for those pesky guards. There's a lot of strategy to Monaco, and picking a character, that's just the beginning. Obviously this is a stealth game, think top-down, old-school Metal Gear, but with an even more retro look and feel. Maybe even a little Pac-Man, for good measure. So it's simple, but only in concept, in style. The execution is incredibly complex. Missions are littered with traps and guards, and for the most part, you can't see them. See, that's one of the key elements here. The game's top-down to an extreme, to the point where the levels are actually just black and white blueprints, and you only see the actual rooms and what's inside them if you're looking in that direction. You have this cone of vision, and anything outside that cone is basically invisible. And therein lies one of the most divisive things about Monaco. See, there are times when this really isn't much of a stealth game. You might open a door and be staring at a guard, who was impossible to see beforehand. And then you have to run, which also becomes a central element of Monaco. Getting spotted or tripping an alarm, and then running like crazy. Or if you have the bullets, shooting people in the face. Nothing stealthy about shooting someone in the face. Of course, with so many different thieves and possible strategies, it only makes sense for Monaco to be a fantastic co-op game. And it is. It's awesome with friends. But when you're alone, sometimes it's, it's a bit more frustrating than fun. The style is fantastic. The design is brilliant. Monaco's a great game, no question. But if you're more of a solo artist, this might not be a heist for you.